made possible by three. What's going on, everyone? Nathan 343 here, and we have another product from Sheds Lighting all the way over there on the other side of the world. So, big shout out to Ava and everyone that helped put this together so I could show you guys a new product. So, we are going to check out this new uh, Atomic RGB DMX light panel. Brand new, it's newly released, and I think I'm the first YouTuber that's got one. So we're gonna check it out, and you might wanna check it out. So I'm going to try to figure out how they package this, because it's got, like, doesn't really show where the box is put together. I guess it's right here. He's fine. That's one thing about sheds, they uh, like to, oh look at that, it's a box in a box. They have a theme going on here. Alright, now before we go any further, let's talk about shop safety. Just kidding. Alright, so we're going to tip this out. This box is kind of damaged a little bit, so hopefully the products inside are not. Alright, another box inside of another box. Bulged out a little bit. I don't know if it's got air in it or what. But, uh, okay, looks like it's good. So it's on styrofoam. So right out of the box, we get. Looks like they just went online, printed out their uh, book. They didn't even manage to fold it. That's cool though. It's gonna be folded. Oh, it's stapled together. How about that? All right. Then we have. This is down here. DMX cable, power cone, <laughs> got a lot of those, box, and we have this big old, big old panel right here, that's actually got some pretty good weight to it. They're going off, but so we've got this panel light that's RGB. Uh, it's got a bunch of little itty bitty diodes on here. Um, so we're gonna check this thing out. I think there's some different kinds of like frosted lenses you can get maybe to put over it to kind of do like a diffused. Uh, it does have a fan on the back, and we're gonna get you guys some close up stuff of this. Um, we have power in, power out. That's good. DMX in, DMX out. Shed's logo, and then a very big LCD screen. The fan in here, I've been told, is quiet. The bracket is on it, and that bracket is a heavy bracket, even though it seems like that was the... The glass has a little bit of, uh, of movement. I don't know if I like that too much, because that's kind of flimsy a little bit, but uh, it's got the big knobs on it. Loosen them up here a little bit and then the handle will move so you could probably stick this light out like this if you were mounting it on a truss and have it hanging down. So we're gonna go ahead, I'll get you guys a close-up, kind of you know, run by this with the camera, and then we'll get it plugged in, see what it does. Alright guys, so here I have the light panel mounted vertically on a piece of cedar link truss and going through some of the patterns, you can see me there on the right of your screen, uh, just going through some of the patterns. This light would be pretty cool. Uh, some patterns are brighter than others depending on if it's a full pattern or if it's a half pattern or if it's, a, if it's like little square patterns or it just depends on you know what type of pattern you have there. Uh, but DMX wise, uh, you know, setting these up in Master Slave, if you had a big, you know, um, truss up on a stage or you were doing kind of a little uh, wedding setup and you just wanted these to be in like a Master Slave, you could set them in one of the random patterns, DMX them together, Master Slave, and it would be a really cool show. That's uh, what I'm probably going to end up doing is getting another one of these and uh, eventually and DMXing them vertically on my trussing uh, for smaller setups, for smaller weddings, stuff like that, uh, with a mover on top. <clears throat> so that would be cool, but 
definitely like the settings on here. There's speed levels that you can use on here to slow it down, speed it up, uh, color change. You can make it do like a rainbow effect, which is really cool. Um, there's different colors. You could use solid colors. You know, you could DMX it, program it to whatever you want it to do. So that's cool. Like I said, there's different channel modes. That's kind of a cool pattern there. And it even looks good horizontal too, just like it is here. So you could use this horizontal, have it facing, you know, if it's up high, have it facing straight down at your crowd. The higher up it is and the bigger room you have um, would make for a pretty good show. It's not going to blind out the crowd. It's not going to drown out all your other lighting. It's more of an accent lighting and I really like it. Um, I definitely think the price point is really good. The only thing that I do not like on this uh, light panel is that the glass piece plexiglass that is on front that covers up the little LEDs is Loose it doesn't seem to be affixed to anything. It kind of rattles a little bit Now I don't know if that's just something that maybe something came loose when it was being transported uh, But it's kind of got a little piece of glass plexiglass inside there that moves uh, And that I wish that could be maybe fixed to where that doesn't rattle so much uh, but other than that uh, the light's really cool. I'm going to let you guys see a little clip here and uh, check it out. Link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out Sheds. All their products have some really awesome products. And uh, again, I want to thank Ava and everyone over there at Sheds for sending this one over. Again, check it out. Link in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. When we'll see you in the next one.